Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on the Fight Day SGL1 Mexico Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here. Today I'm doing a review on the Fight Day SGL1 Mexico Boxing Gloves. Come on in the red, white, and gold colorway, 14 ounces, and lace up. You can also get these in Velcro, anywhere between eight and 14 ounces, as well as three additional colorways, which is a navy blue, a black, and a white. It's made of a synthetic microfiber throughout the entire glove and utilizes three layers of foam padding over the knuckles that is soft to medium in density. I say it's a little bit more on the softer side, which I think where it gets the Mexico or the Mexican designation is the style of padding that's used, which will discuss here in the video here in a second. And lastly, the gloves are manufactured in China. Now, Fight Day is a Chinese branded glove. They're available on the AAG Sports website. I'll put the link below in the description box. And AAG Sports is the same company that sells the TFM boxing gloves, which is another Chinese brand. I've done a review on a couple of their gloves and have uh, just been kind of blown away by the quality of those gloves and just the overall design and aesthetics of those gloves. And what you're starting to see is that you're starting to see a lot more Chinese brands that are coming out, not just you know Chinese manufacturing, but you're also seeing Chinese brands. And that's what you see a lot of on the AAG Sports website. And that's kind of what initially spurred uh, my interest in these fight day gloves is when I was on the AAG website, I was kind of browsing, checking out all these other brands I've never heard of. Fight day was one of them. And I saw the price point, which was I think $83 for these gloves. Now, of course you have to consider shipping internationally. But I saw these and so many others that had cool designs, like aesthetically, they had cool looking colorways, different models. And that's what really got me interested because, you know, Fight Day and a lot of these other Chinese brands are relatively unknown here in the West, you know, here in the States. Maybe in the Asian countries, like in China and the, the countries surrounding the Philippines, uh, Thailand, Japan, all those other Korea, South Korea, you'll, you could probably find these gloves a little bit more frequently just because of the geography of it. Uh, but out here, these aren't very well known. So, you know, gloves like this, other brands, I always like to, to review on this channel. That way they get some exposure and we get to learn about these more so than the standard brands that we really know about, you know, Rival, Title Boxing, Winning, Grant, all those, we really know about those a million times over. So it's, it's always nice to see these brands we've never heard of and just kind of see how they are and really how they stack up against other gloves that we've seen in the past. So I got these Fight Day gloves, you know, aesthetically from a design standpoint, this is the 14 ounce version, which is their largest for this particular model. One thing that's a little confusing is when you go and check these gloves out on their website, it really has like a long name for this model. It's the Fight Day SGL1 Mexico, um, Pro, I think it's a Pro Muay Thai lace-up boxing glove. So it's a little weird that they call this a Muay Thai glove and then they have the Mexico in it. And there's really no way to know why they named it the way it is. You know, is it Mexican because of the shape of the glove? Is it Mexican because of the type of padding? Like where do they use that inspiration from? And then the Muay Thai part, like to me, this is not a Muay Thai style glove. To me, this is more of a convention, uh, conventional, conditional, conventional boxing glove it doesn't really have, I guess, the features of a tie style glove. Maybe the, the shortness of the glove is where they kind of got the idea from, but even the Velcro version that has a tapered Velcro strap isn't necessarily kind of like a Muay Thai style glove. To me, a tie glove is like a Fairtex, a Windy, a Twins glove that has a short cuff that's rounded around the cuff and gives you some flexibility for your hand. That way you can work the clinch. Uh, to me, that's more of a conventional Thai style glove. This one really isn't. So I was a little confused on where they got that uh, that designation from. But anyhow, from a design standpoint, it does use this microfiber um, leather material. It is synthetic. It's very similar to what you would see on the higher quality microfibers that like companies like Rival offer and some others. It feels very thick. It does not feel like a cheap synthetic that you would find like on an entry level, like Everlast product that you get like Dick Sporting Goods. Definitely feels very durable and very thick. Uh, the red on here looks really good. It has a, kind of a smooth to slightly grainy texture of the microfiber. It does say Fight Day vertically on the back of the glove coming down to the wrist support. It's basically a, a double segmented uh, flat wrist. So you have this upper portion, you know, like winning is very similar where it has a kind of, kind of a smaller upper portion, more narrow, and then they have a thicker portion 
but you do have the cloth fight day patch down here below um, and it says brace yourself I guess that's their slogan um, the cloth doesn't feel at least the edges don't feel very sharp so I wouldn't foresee that being an issue if you were to use these gloves for sparring uh, the back of the wrist support I say is about an inch in medium to firm density foam padding you have kind of that subdued kind of gold bronze color for the piping coming down to the inside of the wrist you have I'd say a quarter of an inch of firm density foam padding on both sides and you can see where it ends on this side it says brace yourself and that is actually embroidered into the wrist which is a nice touch and it also says the weight and made in China microfiber high quality quality of that seal the thumb has fight day written across it ventilated holes below as well as above the grip bar the grip bar is nice and thick and dense Valet holes on the inside of the thumb. You can see they use double stitching. You also notice that the stitch pattern on this one is very clean. I mean, the double stitching on here looks really good. You also have an attached thumb. And one thing that's unique about this, which is the only other glove I've seen this happen, and this was recently, um, where it's gonna be my Tigral Japanese boxing gloves. I did a review on a couple of months ago. And that was the first glove I, I had that had the stitching right here on this finger compartment. And this glove has it too. And I think someone had mentioned in the comments that they do that to like insert the padding. But I thought, again, that was kind of a unique look to have that stitching in the, in the finger compartment. Because in videos that I've seen and when it comes to manufacturing, oftentimes this will be open or the back portion of the glove is where they kind of slide the padding into it. They kind of roll it up, kind of compact. And then they kind of stuff the glove or the padding into the hand compartment and then basically massage the padding into shape both for the thumb as well as for the finger padding so there was really no need to go from this end to add anything and so obviously they, they stitch it here for a reason maybe they add padding at the end and then add the stitching right there um, but that's just something that's unique to this glove as well and you also notice that the angle of the grip bar it's not it's not completely horizontal it does have a little bit of angle of it and that's because of how your hand sits when you make a fist. It's not directly just straight like that. Your hand, when you make a fist, usually sits kind of at an angle when you come down and fully clench. Now keep in mind the grip bar should be right here in between your, your hands, but that's typically how your hand is positioned. And then if, if it's all done mechanically correct, then you should be, we should be landing with your middle and your index finger knuckle. So overall, a very nice looking glove. I, I got this in red, white, and gold because the Niners are my team. So just kind of stick with that theme with the Niners, so that's what I ended up going with. But overall, a really clean looking glove. Quality wise, the gloves are great. I mean, I feel for a synthetic glove, um, the materials used on here, it's very nice. I mean, the stitching is done very clean. The microfiber is held up well. I've had these gloves for a few months. I mean, you could, you, you see for, your, for yourself in the video. I mean, I'll let the, the video do the talking. You can see the stitching, the holes punched out looks really good. The outside edges is really clean. Right here on the palm looks good. Nice long flat laces with plastic tips at the end. You can get a couple revolutions. That gold bronze piping is really nice. The inside liner, no issues with grips or tears. The liner on here is, is a uh, satin liner, but it has a little bit more of a rough texture. It has more of a rugged feel. And it has a little bit of a texture. So there's a little bit of getting used to the way it feels but it's not uncomfortable. It's just something that feels different. Um, but overall, I mean, the quality on these are very nice. The back of the wrist looks really good. So you can see right there, the glove is very well balanced. So if I grab the back or the front, that feels really good. And the glove was almost on point with weight. When I put the gloves on the scale, they both came in at about 13.5 ounces. So I'd say they're about a half ounce underweight. Uh, so that I'd say if there was an area to improve upon would be to get the weight on point. And that's 13 and a half ounces with laces. So the good news is both gloves are identical in weight to each other. So you don't have like the right glove that's like 14.5 and the left glove that's at 12.8. So at least the gloves are the same weight as each other. And the only difference, the only problem is they're just about a half ounce underweight. And for me, when it comes to training gloves, I'm not a huge critic with that. For me personally, I mean, unless the gloves are just ridiculously overweight or 
the left glove feels way lighter than the right, then it's kind of like, all right, that's, that's definitely an issue, but about a half ounce, I mean, for me, for training gloves, it's not a huge deal, but again, just worth mentioning in terms of quality. Comfort-wise, when you slide your hand into the glove, the first thing you notice is the liner. The liner does have kind of a, it, it has that satin feel to it, but it feels a little bit more, te like the texture of the material, the fabric is definitely more coarse, if that makes sense. So it feels a little bit rough, like a, basically like that, the canvas liner that Grant used in, in their gloves. So it does definitely feels good. The good news is that there's no bunching up. There's no extra like polyester satin liner on the inside, anywhere on the inside of the glove. Thumb positioning is perfect. Yeah, there's a good amount of flexibility. You have about an inch of medium density foam on the back of your thumb. It's deep enough to where even when I make a fist, it does a job by keeping the thumb in, but it doesn't allow the thumb to fold too much down. And then I feel like my finger's jamming. The uh, inside of the fink compartment has a nice thick, long piece of felt that covers kind of like the stitching as a secondary grip bar. And again, very similar to like what Grant does in some of the other Me Mexican companies where they put that felt piece. So this is kind of where I, I kind of see where they were going with the Mexico theme is I believe that they were basically trying to make, make like a glove that's very Mexican inspired when it comes to the, the feel of the glove, kind of that tapered cut, the felt in the finger compartment, and then lastly is gonna be the padding, which we'll get to here in just a couple of seconds. But the width is perfect. I don't feel like the glove is too narrow, nor is it too wide. There's no like open voids or anything in the inside of the hand compartment that feels uncomfortable. So overall, very comfortable feeling glove. Wrist support feels nice. Thumb piping isn't too tight. Doesn't feel like I squashed down the fat part of my finger. And the gloves, I'd say, are about 90% broken in when you first get them. Now, I've really broken in now, but when you first get them, you can open and close your hand with relative ease. And the more you use the glove, it'll break that, that foam in and really soften it up. And that's really attributed to the foam that they use in this glove to be able to open and close your hand. So you have good flexibility to catch or parry shot. So definitely a very comfortable glove. Uh, protection and performance wise, to me, this is more on the puncher side, a softer foam. You can definitely feel that you're making connection when you're landing with your punches uh, because of the, fo the foam they use on this. And to me, that's where this glove really is, kind of that Mexican style glove, where that puncher's glove idea comes from, is that softer foam. It does have a layer of shock absorption, but if you're somebody that really wants to feel your punches pierce through, but have a little layer of protection, then this would be a good choice for you. So when you land on the bag, it feels really satisfying. You really feel that shot land. It feels really good overall. And you do have a little bit layer of shock absorption to protect your hands in there as well. And if you're somebody that has some knuckle soreness, maybe a hand injury, and you're hell bent on getting these gloves, you can go for it. But my only reservation for that would be maybe use some gel pads, something to give yourself a little extra protection because again, the padding on this is definitely on the softer side. Cost-wise, these gloves currently, I believe are at about $83 on the AAG Sports website, which I think is a great deal for these gloves. You know, all things considered, if you think about it, a lot of the microfiber gloves now are, are also going up in price. So it's not really just leather, genuine leather gloves. You're also seeing a lot higher end synthetic gloves come out in the market that are also pretty pricey, especially the gloves like Rival. A lot of their the gloves on their line um, are a synthetic glove. Um, uh, although they are very high quality, I've seen synthetics that are lasting very long. My Isil Supremes are synthetic, and those are those are still going. Uh, I got to get those cleaned out because they're they're pretty gnarly just because I use them so much. But um, you're starting to see synthetics that really are keeping up with the genuine leather gloves as well. Um, and the, the big thing is with these, you don't have to maintain them like leather. You know, it's not like a, a living skin or I want to say living because it's obviously not living, but it's not an actual skin of an animal where you have to get condition it with leather and all that. With the synthetics, all you really have to do is just wipe it down after you're done using it. Now, you know, the moisture from your sweat, the salt will do damage to any type of material if you let it sit on there. So I still recommend wiping these clean and maintaining them. Um, but obviously you don't have to condition them like a leather glove, but at the price point of $83, man, you really can't go wrong with these gloves. Um, I'm probably gonna make you know my under $100 list here pretty soon. And I definitely could see these gloves being on that list just because it's such a well-rounded glove uh, at that price point. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you guys know what to do, put them down below. 
I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Fight Day SGL1 boxing gloves. See you guys later. Peace.